is for life. Unboxed. Rapture disc responded, no problem. I'm Philip Filmer from Rembi and I'm a specialist in pressure relief systems. Today I'll show you how to replace a graphite rapture disc. However, before we get started, we need to bear in mind a few important safety measures. As there may be sharp edges on reacted rupture discs, gloves must always be worn here. Depending on the medium, it may be necessary to wear safety glasses. Helmets are mandatory in the indicated areas. In loud environments, hearing protection must be worn. Safety shoes must always be worn when working on plant components. To work on a plant safely, the process must be pressure-free. In addition, it is important to secure the main switch from being switched back on. Before starting work, the corresponding area should be secured. Rupture discs must only be replaced by qualified employees. Depending on where they are installed, a second person may be required here. Read the corresponding operating manual before starting assembly work. We can now begin dismantling our test installation. Following a quick visual inspection, the bolts can be loosened. As the GRX rupture disc is mounted directly between the flange, no holder is required here. The new rupture disc can now be selected using the labeling on the outside. The features that help you choose the right disc are the rupture disc type, burst pressure, burst temperature and nominal diameter. Once the right rupture disc has been found, the box can be opened carefully. The safety instructions on wearing gloves should always be observed. It is equally important to read the associated operating manual. Observing the correct torque is particularly important for the GRX rupture disc. The torque is based on the flange periphery, the quantity and size of the bolts. When handling the rupture disc, it is important not to damage the sensitive sealing membrane. If the rupture disc is in perfect condition, we can begin with the installation. The protective film of the rupture disc should only be removed shortly before the installation. The direction arrows on the rupture disc indicate the correct installation direction. The gasket should be checked before use for scratches and damage. Damage could otherwise cause leaks in the process. Due to the sensitive membrane of the graphite ruptured disc, a low torque must be ensured even when pulling out the bolts. The torque specified in the operating manual must always be observed. It is important to tighten the ruptured disc in three steps. Tightening and a cross prevents the rupture disc from tilting during tightening. 
To finish, the ruptured disc and bolts should be checked thoroughly once again. If no damage is found here, the plant can be started up.